Hi, my name is Jay Oza. I'd like to teach, mentor, and coach people on public speaking so that they can give great speeches that win, whether it's one-on-one, -on -one, in a job interview, or in a small group, in a business meeting, or in front of a large audience at a conference. Today I'm going to talk about uh, job interview. And one of the things in the job interview is, let's say you go through a job interview and at the end of it you get rejected. What should you do? Should you just move on or should you try to get back into and get another interview? Now this idea comes from an article that I read in uh, Wall Street Journal uh, November uh, 15th, uh, 2016 by Sue Hellenberger and she gave me a lot of thought actually. So let's say if you are in the other side, if you are actually interviewing people, especially, it could be for any position, but let's say sales position, because sales is so critical to a company's uh, survival and growth. And you interview a salesperson who's highly coached and highly scripted, and you know he's probably thinking that he's got this job nailed. And you're a manager, what do you do? I say, you reject him. Yes, I agree, he's outstanding, everything. You reject him. And what if he doesn't call back? That means he was probably not a good sales guy. Okay? So, a salesperson interviews for a job, he's outstanding, reject him. Because the reason is, if that salesperson cannot get back for a second interview, then what confidence would you have that he can get into another account after he's been rejected? He probably worked on a product or something where everything always worked out, and you don't know how much money he left on the table. So I don't know if any managers out there do it. I would do it even for any position, that anybody you hire, you immediately call them back and say, you've been rejected. And then let's see what they do to get back into the account. Because that also tells you that there is certain qualities that these people don't give up. You don't want quitters. And one of the ways that you eliminate quitters is you, 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 know, you bring them for an interview and you immediately tell them, you know, thank you, but uh, we're not interested. And then if they don't call back, then obviously uh, they're quitters. They took your word, literally, and said, hey, you know, they never bothered calling you or sending you an email saying, you know, if you give me another chance, I think we can discuss it further and perhaps. Now, I'm not sure if this is something companies actually use as a strategy, but I don't think it's a bad strategy because a lot of the work is how people do the work, right? Interviewing is not about how good you're at answering questions. Interviewing is a proxy for a job. And in any job you have, whether it's sales or anything, you're gonna face rejections. And the best way to test it is to turn the interview as a kind of like a, a lab to test it out. How do they handle it? Do they view that as a job where you reject them and they never call back? Then he's, they're gone, they're, they're quitters, you don't want them. But let's say you reject them and they come back and say, you know, I thought I did well. I think there are certain things that I could have done better. If you're open to it, I'd like to come back and talk to you further. Now, there's the guy you want to invite and say, hey, listen, you know, it also shows their humility and they don't give up depending on how what the tone is. If their tone is like, you made a mistake, then you don't pursue it. But it's something like, hey, I'd like to get a better understanding on where I could have done, where they're asking a question. So rejecting an excellent candidate should be part of your strategy when you're hiring. And if you're on the other end, you're interviewing, if you got rejected, try to get back into the account. Rejection is only if you can't get into the account after making an uh, attempt to get into the, uh, not the account, a, a company. So rejection is just, it's a snapshot in time. It's not permanent. Anytime you, you should reject people and see if they can get back in. And just because somebody rejects you doesn't mean it's the end of it. So it's, it's how you have that mindset. Don't have a rejection mindset. It's always, rejection is at that given time, it's not permanent. And you should never accept rejection. Once you accept rejection, means that you're quitting and you never wanna quit. Now, having said that, 
if if a company says no to you, say I'd like to get back into the can, they say no. At that point, you don't you know be a pest and keep calling them again and again. Say, look, I'm, I'm going to try another after six months and try to get back in. And you know what? After a while, you will get back in because that's how life works. Okay, you're breaking the resistance. So the question then is, you're you're in a resistance breaking mode because there are all kinds of resistance that are put in front of you at when you get a job. Just because you get a job doesn't mean the resistance ends. There are different kind of resistance that you're going to face. So I think that a rejection should be part of the strategy when it's uh, somebody you're hiring. But it's something also if you're looking for a job, don't e e take rejection as uh, permanent. Always try ways to get back into the camp, provided that you're definitely interested in working for this company. Okay, this is not something conventional you're gonna find, but I did see this article in uh, Wall Street uh, Journal, November 15th, uh, 2016. So I just wanted to kind of share my thoughts on this. That after reading it, I thought it was a it could be a good strategy to employ whenever you're trying to hire somebody, and it could apply to other things too, dating, sales, anything. Okay, let me know what you think. I'm here to help you, and thank you for watching. And good luck with your next uh, sales job or interview or whatever. Thank you.